Hey everyone, Spider with Seam here, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how you can run your own World of Warcraft private server with my new fresh compiled Trinity Core repack. Now this repack does come with the Aluna engine, and what that means is you'd be able to use Lua scripts on your server. That can be beneficial for when you want to script anything into the game, including items, creatures, environmentals, and so on. Now, if you look into the description box below, you'll find three download links. One is the The Thoris 3.3.5 repack. Two, I am providing the source for this repack, which is Trinity Core with Iluna. And three is going to be actually multiple links that are going to contain the downloads for the tools that you need to run the repack, which include the cameras, the DVC, the maps, the M maps, and the V maps. The download links are provided through AdFly, which means you would have to wait approximately 5 seconds until you can skip the ad in order to get to the download. Now once you have everything downloaded, the first thing you want to do is open up the Thoris 3.3.5 repack. This folder contains all your core files that are needed to run the server. In this folder you have the logs, which is where you'll find all the reported information from your auth and world server files. Next you have Lua scripts, which is where you can place all your Lua scripts. And next we have the MySQL. This is the folder that contains all of your database information. It is critical to running the server. You have two configuration files, including your authserver.conf and your worldserver.conf. Opening the auth server in a text editor will show you all the components it holds. Under the MySQL settings, here is where you can configure your database connection username and password. Make sure that your username is set to root and your password is set to ascent. Opening the worldserver.conf in a text editor will show you all of its information too, such as the max player level, the starting player level, creature ratings, XP rate, broadcast systems, and so much more. Keep in mind that the world server configuration also holds information on your database login, such as your auth, world, and characters database. These are the three databases that make up your MySQL. I also included Judy's Repack Control. This program would allow you to easily start your MySQL, which is your database. Open Judy's Repack Control. In this program, you have to set your server path, MySQL path, and optionally your Apache path. Apache is used to run a website, but we're not going to go over that in this video. The MySQL is the first thing you have to run. Click MySQL path to set the directory of your MySQL. It should be located in your repack under the MySQL folder, and then select the bin folder. Press OK. Now that we have our MySQL path set, we need to set the server path. Click on that and all you gotta do is select the Thoris 3.3.5 repack. Once you hit OK, you'll see that both your auth and world server have been detected into the folder, additionally with your MySQL. The first step to starting your server is starting the MySQL server. Once you do that, you should get a little message into your control panel that says that the MySQL server is started. To access your database, you'll need a database program such as Navicat and HadeSQL. In this video, I'm going to be using HadeSQL. When you first open HadeSQL, you're prompted to the Session Manager screen. We're going to input a new session. Click New. Give your session a name. I called mine the Thoris Repack. Make sure that your host IP is set to your local host or 127.0.0.1. Your user should be root and your password should be ascent. That is A S C E N T. Your port should be set to 3306. Once all this information is set, click the save button to save your session. Now you're ready to click open. You should be prompted with six databases, including information schema, auth, characters, MySQL, performance schema, and world. You are only going to need to focus on three databases, the auth, the characters, and the world. The auth database holds all account-related information. The characters database holds all character-related information. The world database holds all in-game information, such as quests, creatures, and items. You can visit the Trinity Core wiki page to find all sorts of information for what each table in a database does, and works for in-game. I recommend that if you're running your first server, you should definitely take a glance at this page. I've provided a link to the Trinity Core wiki page in the description box below. Now that you're a little bit more familiar with what these files are used for, additionally, you need all the VMAPs, MMAPs, Maps, DVC, and Cameras to be included in your repack directory as well. I've already extracted all of these into this folder called Tools. I suggest you do the same. 
When you open this, you'll have all these folders that contain information needed to run the server. You'd simply copy all these folders and drag and drop them into the Thoris 3.3.5 repack folder. Once they're in there, you're now ready to start your MySQL. After that, you have to follow the order of starting the auth, and then you start the world server. When both your auth and world server have loaded, they will look like this. The more processing power you have, the better for the server. Once your auth and world server have successfully loaded, you now have to set your realm list. If you don't already have the World of Warcraft 3.3.5a original client downloaded on your computer, there is a link provided in the description box below. Once you're in your WoW folder, open up the data folder. Go into your ENUS or ENGB, depending on your client. Go into your EN folder and find realmist.wtf. Feel free to use any editor to edit this file. I will be using Notepad++. Make sure that this file only contains the following information. Set Realmist localhost. You could also use your local IP address, which is 127.0.0.1. After you made these modifications, simply click Save and Close. If you're having issues saving this file, I'd recommend right-clicking and going into the file's properties, and make sure Read Only is unchecked. Click Apply, then OK. Now that we've gone over the basics of what everything does to run a server, it's time to run the server. First, open up Judy's Repack Control and make sure your MySQL server is started. Next, start the auth server, then start the world server. When you see the ready message on the world server, you know that your server is started. The first thing you have to do is create an account. To do this, you'll have to type the command dot account create dethoris death. This means that my username is dethoris and my password is death. Now that I have my command set out, press enter. You should be prompted with a message saying that your account has been created. In any case, if you're trying to make your account a Game Master account, you need to use the following command. Dot account set GM level Dethoris 3 minus 1. Dethoris is my username. 3 is an administrator account rank. Minus 1 means it's applicable to all realms. Hit enter. And you should now get a message that says your account has been updated to security level 3. Your account should now be an admin. Some additional commands that you can use on your world server and in-game can be found again on Trinity Core's wiki page. I will also provide a link for this down in the description box below. Now that your server started, you've changed your realm list, and you've made an account, you are ready to open up the World of Warcraft game. Open WoW.exe. Type in your username, then type in your password, and click Login. Congratulations, you've now successfully logged in to your World of Warcraft private server. Feel free to create a character, log in, do quests, do raids, do instances, jump around, and of course, don't forget to invite your friends to play along with you. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Spider Wasim, and before I leave, I'd like to give a shout out to my World of Warcraft private server, Anarchy WoW. Currently, Anarchy WoW is in development, and it's been so for the past couple of years. The staff and I are working as hard as we can to produce qualitative content. We're offering a ton of new stuff, like a whole new storyline we're working on, new playable races, some new playable classes, and just a whole lot of stuff, a whole new map we're even trying to introduce and is coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Check out the website, anarchy-wow.com, for more information, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace!